Morgan is directed by Luke Scott, who is Ridley Scott's son, and Ridley Scott also produced this movie. What this movie is about is this artificial intelligence being named Morgan. She was created in a lab, and she was raised by this scientist until something happened, so a consultant, played by Kate Mara, came to see what is going on and find information about this character. Now, this movie, I watched the trailers, and I was a bit interested, but it wasn't a film that I anticipated to see. So I just went in and just like, yeah, I'm just going to see a good science fiction action movie. But if you were excited to see a science fiction action movie, which is Morgan, you might be disappointed. Because Morgan is not really an action movie or a science fiction action movie. It's just mostly a mystery drama movie with the character Morgan in it. Now look, I'm not saying this movie is bad or anything. This movie is competent. Like, it has a couple of parts in the movie that I just clearly enjoyed, especially the second half of the movie. The thing about the movie is that the first half of the movie may bore people. I was unfortunately bored the first time as well, I was actually doing this the whole time and I actually was curious what time is it because the first half of the movie did bore me and the characters weren't that interesting in the first half of the movie, especially Kate Mara. And it just made me just nearly want to leave the theater. I'm just saying, this movie, this movie bored me until the second half came, and the second half starts to get a bit better in the first half, and it gets more interesting. So, I'd rather, if I would watch this movie again, I'd rather just skip it to the second half of the movie, because the second half was way more interesting than the first half that didn't really interest me. Let's talk about the cast in the movie. That girl from The Witch who plays Morgan, she was actually pretty good in this movie for what she does. Like, in the movie, I haven't seen The Witch, I heard she's really good, but in this movie, she made me want to watch The Witch because she was actually pretty good as Morgan, in my opinion. And Kate Mara in this movie, the first half, she didn't really interest me, but in the second half, she did interest me. And Kate Mara, overall, Kate Mara was actually pretty fine for what she does as well, same as Morgan. She was good in the movie. I actually think this one for better role she did in Fantastic Four, this is probably one of the better roles she ever done in the movie. But Paul Giamatti, there's one scene with Paul Giamatti's with Morgan, you see in the trailer, it was the best acting I've seen Paul Giamatti did, like his acting was, like I was at the edge of my scene entire time with that scene and even though he's in one scene, that scene was my favourite part of this whole entire movie. Paul Giamatti did really good for what he does in the movie, he doesn't have that much interest in characters except for Morgan and kind of Kate Mara and Paul Giamatti most of the film. Just the characters didn't make me that interested at all, it, it made me just feel like I'm just bored with them, it, They, they're just not good. Trust me, the acting was good, like, just the characters not made me interested, but just the acting in the film made me interested. And the film, the shots and everything, the settings, the, the sounds, the music, they were actually pretty damn beautiful in this movie. Like, I did enjoy the shots and those musics in the film. It's just, this film wasn't that interesting, especially the first half of it. And that's why I was disappointed at Morgan. Overall, Morgan, I didn't think it was a bad movie or anything. I think it was just... A commented film that is just, if you're in bored of the house, I, you can watch this movie, like, just for, just for a, like, an entertaining movie, which it wasn't really, in my opinion. But some people might feel entertained with this movie, but in my opinion, I reckon people will get bored, especially the first half of the movie. But I'm giving Morgan a C-. minus. So guys, I know I haven't done my Secret Life of Pets and Toy Story review but I'm not going to do that because I think people have already done it already, so sorry about that, guys. So, guys, have you seen Morgan? What do you think of that movie? Comment below, let me know what you think, and make sure to subscribe to my movie. So, I think this is OCD, and have a nice day.